Hello, my name is L.C. McKnight and uh, today we are going to talk about the reasons why I think you should visit Zimbabwe this coming year 2024. On this channel I talk about cultures and today I want to talk to you about Zimbabwe and what it has to offer for you. The reason I really want to talk about this because I have seen that Zimbabwe is sort of like undermined. It's really not known. It's not on the radar of being known as a vacation place, as a place to go to. It's not that. People who go there, maybe they go there because somebody told them something. But it's not a well, well-known place to go to as a vacation place. And today, I want to bring out some of the things that actually maybe people really don't know about Zimbabwe that are really there and they are really amazing things to see and to know. One is the Victoria Falls. Did you know that the Victoria Falls is one of the wonders of the world? And maybe you didn't. So this is the time for you to know this is one of the wonders of the world. Mozotun, that's the name we have in Zimbabwe. But most people, they know it is the Victoria Falls. It's one of the wonders. It's located right in Zimbabwe, and also its border between Zimbabwe and Zambia. So you can be on the side of Zambia, you can be on the side of Zimbabwe, and you will see this marvelous, amazing wonder of the world. The other place you could go to is the Kariba Dam. Did you know again that Kariba Dam in Zimbabwe is one of the biggest man-made dams in the world? This is another, I feel, a reason for you to visit Zimbabwe and see Zimbabwe and see what it has for you to offer. This is where the electricity is generated and all that, and there's so much to see there. Uh, animals and different things like that that you can also go and see. The Matopo Hills. Zimbabwe is such a, a beautiful place and one of the things that it has, the characteristic it has or the natural thing it possess is actually the balancing rocks in Zimbabwe. And these balancing rocks, there's like a, some places where they are so concentrated and these are the Matopo Hills where people can go and just see how beautiful this, um, these stones are. And, um, you know, I mean, it's a place where I think you shouldn't miss. The people, the people are amazing. In Zimbabwe, people, I think you are going to experience a different feel when you come to Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans are people who are really generous. They're people who are uh, very calm, people who are, um, you know, welcoming. You know, when they get a guest, they welcome you. When they know that you're a guest, you're coming to their place, they welcome you and you are taken care well. So the people is really another reason why actually you should come to Zimbabwe. And I have a video that I had just made where I was talking myself uh, some of the things that I miss about Zimbabwe. And these are some of the things actually I miss, especially the people. I miss the feel that I get when, I, I, when I'm in Zimbabwe, that feel, I miss it. Zimbabwe has one of the largest, I think, preservation of uh, elephants. So for those who love animals, for those who go for safaris, for those who do anything to see animals, to see the, the animals in the bushes and stuff like that, Zimbabwe is a place. So Zimbabwe has this for you. And I encourage you this coming year as you are putting things on your calendar, as you are planning, as you are figuring out where are you going to be, you should think about these things that I have just mentioned now. And you should put Zimbabwe in one of your places to go to because it is worthy to be visited. I just know that because it's such a small country, landlocked, 
um, it seems like nothing there is going on, but there's so much going on there. And that's why I'm encouraging you to actually put that in your calendar to visit Zimbabwe this coming year, 2024. And if you haven't subscribed into this channel, I share culture, I share traditions, lifestyles, and I share the different things that you find there. And sometimes I talk about the food. Um, but it's not limited to, I also talk a lot about my experience here in America and also somewhere around the world. I talk about some of the experience of the cultures and the lifestyle and the traditions. So this channel can educate you and inform you a lot. So I encourage you to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and also share the videos with others who don't know that you think they might also benefit from this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.